morning students let us begin chapter 5 indigo in the textbook flamingo indigo chapter is written by louis fisher about the author first of all louis fisher who was born in 1896 and died 1970 was born in philadelphia in 1896 he served as a volunteer in the british army between 1918 and 1920 fisher made a career as a journalist and wrote for the new york times the saturday review and for european and asian publications he was also a member of the faculty of princeton university dear students let us have the introduction of the chapter indigo the story is based on the interview taken by louis fisher of mahatma gandhi in order to write on him he had visited him in 1942 at his ashram sevagram sevagram is the name of the ashram where he was told about the indigo movement started by gandhi ji the story revolves around the struggle of gandhi and other prominent leaders in order to safeguard sharecroppers from the atrocities of landlords Dear students let us have the summary of indigo Louis Fisher met Gandhi ji in 1942 at his ashram in Sevagram Gandhi told him that how he initiated the departure of the british from india he recalled that it in 1917 at the request of rajkumar shukla a share cropper from champaran he visited the place gandhi ji had gone to lucknow to attend the annual meeting of national indian national congress in the year 1916 shukla told him that he had come from champaran to seek his help in order to safeguard the interests of the share croppers gandhi ji told him that he was busy to uh, busy so shukla accompanied him to various places till he consented to visit champaran his firm decision impressed gandhi ji and he promised him that he would visit calcutta at a particular date and then shukla could come and take him along to champaran shukla met him at calcutta and they took a train to patna Gandhi ji went to lawyer Rajendra Prasad's house and they waited for him in order to grab complete knowledge of the situation he reached Mujaffarpur on 15th April 1917 he was welcomed by professor J B Kriplani and his students Gandhi ji was surprised to see the immense support for an advocate of home rule like him He also met some lawyers who were already handling cases of share croppers as per the contract 15% of the peasant's land holding was to be reserved for cultivation of indigo the crop of which was given to the landlord as a rent the system was very oppressive gandhi ji wanted to help the share croppers so he visited the british landlord association but he was not given any information because he was an outsider he then went to the commissioner of tirhut division who threatened gandhi ji and asked him to leave tirhut instead of returning he went to motihari here he started gathering complete information about the indigo contract He was accompanied by many lawyers one day as he was on his way to meet a peasant peasant means a farmer who was maltreated by the indigo planters he was stopped by the police superintendent messenger 
who served him a notice asking him to leave gandhi ji received the notice but disobeyed the order a case was filed against him many lawyers came to advise him but when he stressed they all joined his struggle and even consented to go to jail in order to help the poor peasants on the day of trial a large crowd gathered near the court it became impossible to handle them gandhi ji helped the officers to control the crowd gandhi gave his statement that he was not a law breaker but he disobeyed so that he could help the peasants he was granted bail and later on the case against him was dropped gandhi ji and his associates started gathering all sorts of information related to the indigo contract and its misuse later a commission was set up to look uh, look into the matter after the inquiry was conducted the planters were found guilty and were asked to pay back to the peasants expecting refusal they offered to pay 25% of the amount gandhi ji accepted this too because he wanted to free the share croppers from the binding of the indigo contract he opened six schools in champaran villages and volunteers like mahadev desai narhar parik and his son devdas taught them kasturi bai the wife of gandhi uh used to teach personal hygiene later on with the help of a volunteer doctor he provided medical facility to the natives of champaran thus making their life a bit better a peacemaker andrews wanted to volunteer at champaran ashram but gandhi ji refused as he wanted indians to learn the lesson of self reliance so that they would not depend on others Gandhi ji told the writer that it was Champaran's incident that made him think that he did not need the Britishers advice while he was in his own country so explanation will be made in the next lecture thank you students